Okay, back upstairs now. Just had a super worm jump out of the container. It's approximately <clears throat> 23 hours after the show and, and the unhousing back here, which I didn't video. And uh, I'm going to try the first feeding. You can see my scorpion. Looks like it's ready for something. Super worms are jumpy, I'm surprised. I've actually lost one up here. I'll have to look for it later. Let's just grab another one that's alive. Moving around and let's see what happens there. See that guy John up there in Canada always says it's hard to get a scorpion eat on camera. for 10 bucks that was the deal of the day there you go grab it yeah <laughs> outstanding outstanding look at that I figured it must be hungry the way it's walking around in that cage all night last night and today you munching on that Wish I had a macro lens for this camera. Using a DSLR from Canon. Have the uh, Nifty 50 1.8 lens. Definitely need a macro for this kind of thing. Kind of expensive though. Uh, something I have in mind. Wow, look at that. I don't know if it's sucking down the insides of it or what. My, my uh, Sturmy over there, which we'll get to after this, is uh, been rehousing, doing some housekeeping over there. I put a little styrofoam. By the way, these are both temporary enclosures. I'm not going to keep either one of them in what they're in now. And after I get the acrylic made for my Sturmy, I'll probably move the Scorpion into the bigger container next door there that has the uh, tarantula. So I get something for that. I have something in mind for this too. Might be able to move it first. Well, I'm not really doing a lot with that. It's interesting this uh, scorpion doesn't seem to really use its stinger much at all. It's also easy to pick up that way too. You just grab it right behind it. It's quite heavy. That was what really stunned me about it. Was This is not like a bug and neither is that tarantula. It's more like a small mammal or something. The weight of it. If you picked up uh, a large mouse or rat or a gerbil or something like that by the tail, wouldn't feel any more dense than the scorpion or the tarantula do. It feels more like a, a very hefty animal. Okay. Okay, it's been eight days since I went to the reptile show. Uh, I've since fed the scorpion a cricket and a superworm in addition to the last feeding. I tried to offer it a superworm last night and you know the light was on in here and everything and it wouldn't take it. So I ended up taking it upstairs to the uh, Sturmy tarantula and that enjoyed a second worm. Uh, it's too bad I didn't have the camera going on that because 
I threw the worm in in front of the tarantula about, it dropped about maybe five inches away and it didn't react to it and it was its second worm in 15 minutes. So I picked it up with the uh, tongs and as I moved it back towards the tarantula about an inch and a half, the tarantula moved forward and leaped in the air and cleanly, I mean it hit the tongs, but it cleanly came up with the super worm. Uh, I have to check on it later too. I hope it didn't injure itself in any way. It didn't appear to, but I didn't expect to see a Sturmy tarantula leap like that at the tongs, especially since it just had a super worm 15 minutes earlier. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to uh, attempt to give this scorpion a super worm. I really, oh, the super worm is actually underneath the scorpion right at the moment. And it's now crawled completely underneath of it, so expect to see the scorpion move. Yep, I figured it would start moving here. Got a worm crawling underneath of it. Uh, either this thing isn't very hungry anymore, or it's decided it likes crickets better. I found half of a devoured super worm in its uh, water dish last time. I don't know, maybe it's not a fan of super worms anymore. Guessing the feet jumping up and down like that means the worm is there, but tell you what, these superworms stink. a damn worm. Come on. Time for you to move over there. Find your worm. Wow, this thing just really disappeared. Oh, there it is. Way over in the corner here. Worm is right in front of its pinchers. All it has to do is lower them, grab it, and start eating the way it does. These things eat like a praying mantis. I have not seen that scorpion use its stinger yet. So apparently, this species just doesn't doesn't use it. You got lobster claws like that. You don't need it, I suppose. setting itself. did that last night too. It was interesting. It actually put the right pincher up that was closed, raised it up, kind of cocked it, and then opened it up. Had it over its head like, you know, one of these gang bangers hold their Glock up over their head, you know, on an angle and fire, and had its pincher way up. I thought it was going to strike, but it just stayed that way forever and then just gave up. I guess it's interested in posing for the camera. Maybe the scorpion has Hollywood aspirations. It does, gonna have to learn to eat. 
I come to think of I've never seen a scorpion eat in a movie, so maybe not. Okay, I'll try lifting the worm up, putting it in front of it one more time. If it's not going to eat, then Sturmy gets another worm this time. This time it'll be on camera. The Sturmy's not very uh, fat in the abdomen, so I don't see any reason to not feed it more if it's going to jump at the tongs to get a second worm in 15 minutes. Okay, this is a wrap. My patients are over, so find my worm. And there it is. Well, it's time for you to go be eaten by the tarantula. Kind of looks near death too. I'll try it tomorrow with a cricket, maybe. I don't have many crickets though, so we just have to develop a appetite for super worms. My scorpion has not been eating worms so I'm gonna try a cricket today and see what happens. <laughs> Perfect. Well, how about you eat it now? That you're killing it. There you go. Showing off, huh? No pinchers. <laughs> <laughs>